Today I will show you how to install a patch on a standalone ESXi host. First, we'll log into the host client and check the running ESXi version and build number. Once logged in, you can see the current ESXi version and build number. You can find the exact version using the build number. Open a new tab in your web browser and type VMware ESXi version and build number. Now, copy the build number from the ESXi host client and find it on the VMware page. Currently, the ESXi version is 8.0 P1. We will update the ESXi host to 8.0 EP2. First, you need to download the required patch file. Go to Broadcom.com and log in to your web portal. If you don't have a Broadcom account, use the link above to learn how to create a new one. After logging in, select VMware Cloud Foundation from the top right corner. Then, select My Download and click on VMware vSphere. I have uploaded a video about how to download VMware patches. You can watch it using the link above for more details. Select the Solution and then License Version. Then, select the version you need to download. I have downloaded version 8. Now, search for the required patch version using the search bar. Enter the build number you need. You can download the patch.zip file using the download icon. Once the download is complete, you need to upload the patch file to an ESXi accessible data store. Go to the data store, browse files, and create a new folder named patch. Then, upload the downloaded.zip file to this folder. After the upload is complete, you need to access ESXi using CLI. To do this, you need to enable the SSH service on the ESXi host. Right-click on the host, select Services, and then enable SSH. Before starting, don't forget to put ESXi into maintenance mode. You can right-click on the ESXi host and select Enter Maintenance Mode. Open a PuTTY session and log in to ESXi using the root account. Run the following command and provide the path to the uploaded ESXi patch file. Wait until the task ends. Finally, reboot the ESXi host to apply the patch. After the reboot, you can verify the current updated patch version. And that's it. You've successfully patched your standalone ESXi host. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you for watching.